What's up everybody? Alright, let's talk displays. I recently had what I think is the best win on my channel. It was a display win, a one try win at round one, and I understand a lot of you might not vibe with that type of play, so if that's you, I appreciate the watch. See you next time. For everybody else, I wanted to talk about what you might want to look for if you're going for a display, and I wanted to give you a few tips and tricks on the methods I've used to get some of the prizes that aren't necessarily supposed to be won. Alright, here's my recent Harry Potter setup, guys. If you haven't seen this video, I'll link it in the description. Okay, the game is to drop the tin off of the platform using the golden snitch, but that's not really what I want to focus on. What I want to focus on are the displays. We got the Hermione here, and we got the Q Posket box on the other side. Now, I don't think we can get that Q Posket box all the way over here, but this Hermione is very close to the prize chute, so that's the one we're gonna target. But me and the family played the game, we got the tin, and we just dropped it right here onto the grass. But I think, I think I can get this tin to the left side of the platform over here, and that'll be right in line with this Hermione figure. Hopefully we can get the tin to smack the Hermione into the prize chute. So let's try it. I'm gonna go for the opposite side. When we played this the first time, we spun it from the left side. So I'm gonna spin the right side this time. Come on, there it is. Come on. Okay, a few things you guys wanna look for are the moving parts in the machine. Since you can't reach your hand in here and just grab what you want, you gotta use what you have. What we have here is the snitch and we have the tin that are movable. We can't drop the snitch all the way onto the Hermione figure. It only goes down so far. So the only movable piece is this tin. You have to be cognizant and you have to be mindful of the things that are moving around in the machine. So this tin is the movable piece and that's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna move it as far towards Hermione as we can. That way, once it drops off the platform, Maybe we could end up with two prizes. There it is. After I got that Broly figure the other day, I was just on a tear. I was looking for figure wins and everything and I came back home and I noticed I had set that Hermione up a little bit too close to the prize chute. All right, so it's a little quicker. Switching up the swing, snitching time. Okay, come on, right there. Nice, come on, come on, ooh, come on. So grab it. Pull it over, oh wow, okay. I'm just gonna try to pull it forward from this position, guys. Let's see, I'm gonna do a front and back swing, and I'm just gonna try to get the tin and bring it forward, come on. Oh wow, come on, come on. Lift it, oh it didn't lift it up. And the front edge of that tin needs to dive first into the Hermione figure, so let's see. I See, it won't go further back. The snitch won't go any further back than that, so I can't grab that little edge, that last little edge that you need to grab. Come on, grab it. Come on, pick it up. Yes, yes, it worked, guys. So good, look at that. Got the Hermione, yes. The tin actually hit the Hermione figure, guys. That was so perfect. Got the Hermione and got the Harry Potter figure. So good, it actually worked. And now let's take a look at that Broly 1 play from round 1. Alright, so let me set the scene. Round 1 doesn't like filming at all, guys. Most of them. Especially the one that me and Peter go to. And recently, we've been told not to video plenty of times. So, this trip was no different. I was by myself, and I had won one figure previously to trying the Broly. I noticed that the Broly was a little bit too far into the play area, and that the Broly might be able to be hit by the UFO catcher. So, I had one try left, and even though that machine is very close to the register, I decided to pull the camera out and see what happens. If they told me to leave, then I was gonna leave anyway. That was my last play, and I was gonna take off no matter what. All right, let's take a look at that clip. Yeah, the angle of this clip was just terrible. I had to really hide the camera. I had my skateboard in one arm and I had the camera kind of hidden behind it. So that's the shot you guys are getting. I went all the way to the left and then I went slightly back and pushed him back onto his heels. I didn't think I was going to win it once this happened so I actually just started walking away. I walk a couple of feet away, 
and then I hear this god awful noise. It was so loud, just this huge crash. Just to hear that noise and the relief that it worked. My trick worked and the hack kind of worked. And that game is really tough. Me and Pete both played that game and spent about 10 plays to win. That's a big difference from a one play figure win. I know I didn't really get the box, but the fact that I got the win and it wasn't supposed to be won, the fact that I got the prize that wasn't necessarily supposed to be taken from the machine, it just it made it a really special moment for my channel. So let me know what you guys think about this video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to help support the channel by buying some of the prizes, then check in the description for the link to the eBay. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to Mr. E. Claus. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.